How would, how would you assess the performance today during the scrimmage? You know, I thought it was good. I, I thought it was competitive. I thought the offense came out pretty hot, you know, uh, got a little momentum, and then I thought the defense did a good job of getting it back, you know. And uh, the funny thing about the way this offense goes, a lot of times when, when you start playing and kind of get that snowball rolling, it's sometimes hard to get it stopped. And I thought our defense did a great job of, of uh, you know, stopping them and get, getting the momentum back and making some plays and uh, created a couple of turnovers. And, and, uh, but I thought, you know, I thought it was good. There were too many procedure and offsides penalties, you know, and that hadn't been a problem for us uh, at all in practice up to this point. So that was a little bit discouraging. Obviously, we got to get those things fixed. But uh, all in all, for a scrimmage after six practices, I thought it was pretty good. Do you think the defensive line on um, those first two or three series, they had a bunch of offsides. Do you think they were just too amped up? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, that's, that's, I think so. I think that's the thing we have to learn is, you know, we got to go practice. Uh, we got to go play like we practice. We haven't had any issues with that at all in practice. It's usually, it's usually a big issue, and it hadn't been. And, and today, all of a sudden, we start start getting a scrimmage situation, and we got we got more offsides penalties, and more false starts than we've been having. So that was the that was the only thing I was disappointed in. Would the element of the, of the more contact really play into that? Well, I think I think it's just the excitement of it. Honestly, more than anything else, excitement, anticipation. You know, just getting out there and, and being in a competitive situation more than anything else. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, something will get corrected and obviously will be a point of emphasis for us. And, uh, you know, I would expect it not to happen as much next Saturday. Did the order you played the quarterbacks in the scrimmage give any glimpse into your d depth chart? No, not really. No, I think we just, just stuck them out there, let them go play, and, and uh, you know, we'll assess it. And, you know, the depth chart stuff is, I mean, it's a, it's a changer daily anyway. So. You know, if it, would, if it had been the order, chances are after the scrimmage it won't be the order. So it's just, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that, that we're constantly taking a look at and evaluating and, and uh, you know, seeing where our guys stand. But you're planning on releasing one Monday? Yeah, I think we are. I think we'll probably release something on Monday. And, um, you know, again, I don't know how specific it's going to be. You know, it could be a lot of ors. You know how that stuff goes. <laughs> List them in alphabetical order with a lot of ors. But I, I, hope we, I hope it's obvious enough where we don't have to do that. Talk about Jared's play. I mean, it was good. You know, Jared uh, started hot. You know, the thing Jared's done that's been really impressive, and this has been the most impressive thing, is he, you know, he's just come out here and there had, he hasn't seen any drop off from, from high school to, to this. You know, he's just as comfortable, he's calm, he's got a great demeanor, he's got a lot of confidence. And, uh, you know, he just goes out and does what he does. And, you know, we put him in this situation today to kind of go out there first to see how he handled it. And uh, get an evaluation on that, and thought he did fine. You know, I don't think it bothered him a bit. So, you know, that was encouraging. And the thing we want to try to do with our quarterbacks is we're going to put them in some good situations, and we're going to put them in some bad situations, and everything in between, uh, just to kind of see how they respond and react. So, was the thought switching the direction that the quarterbacks were, were throwing in, just getting them to play with a lot of different personnel? Yeah, yeah, we were trying to. Trying to get him to play with different personnel, different ends of the field, uh, you know, backed up inside the five, in the red zone. I mean, just all that. We, we were trying to throw every possible scenario that we could throw at him today, just to see if it affected, you know, their their thought process or the way that they played or the way they handled things. And and we, I didn't think it affected any of them. I thought they all did a good job of of you know just trying to go out there and execute plays, not trying to do too much. I thought we were did a good job in the pocket. I thought our guys were active, shuffled well. Uh, you know, didn't take a lot of sacks, which was encouraging. And uh, so I thought overall it was a good day. Some really big hits on the defense. Uh, do you feel like they were in position a lot of the day, or are they still working on that? Yeah, no, I, I think they are. I think they're triggering faster. You know, Avery Sebastian has been a guy that has laid a lot of big hits throughout, throughout uh, uh, you know, what we've been doing so far. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's played very physical. I've been really pleased with what he's doing. Um, you know, and that kind of carried over today. We've had to, to try to get him to scale down maybe his level of physical play during <laughs> Pascal and, and team and stuff. So he got to come out here and, and kind of unleash it today and thought he was real physical and thought he did a good job of doing that. Was the running game satisfactory? Or yeah, I thought our backs did, did some good things. You know, I, there were some times I thought they could have stuck it up in there. Uh, a little better that they danced around, you know, and that's something we'll get corrected. And part of that is, is uh, you know, we, we got to be good at situational football. Is understanding, hey, if it's third and two, you know, I'm going to I'm going to stick it up in there and get two yards and, and move the chains and 
that's a you know that's a something you're constantly working on is those guys understanding down and distance and how to run in certain situations and um, you know like I said that's that's still we're still working on it still got a long way to go but I thought they did some good things today that position you tried to put it in and you if you you know, I thought Darren Irvin was pretty sharp really did for a guy that, that hadn't done a whole lot I was impressed with what what he did today uh, kind of coming off an injury and um, I was really really impressed with the way he ran and thought he was pretty physical running the ball and uh, did some good things receivers made some nice grabs today yeah they did yeah they did they, they did some good things you know I thought Bryce Traggs made a couple of nice plays you know Kenny Lawler has been making a lot of competitive plays didn't make one today um, I was a little surprised. Thought he, yeah, I thought he might make that play over there, and uh, you know he didn't. But but you know I've been impressed with the receivers so far. You know I think it's going to end up being a good group. Um, you know, and, and the good thing is we've got a lot of different guys, and, and they're competing for jobs, and I think it's bringing out the best in the in the entire group. McGovern looked pretty sharp working in the slot. Is he sort of emerging? A little bit, yeah, yeah. I thought he did some good things. He's a guy that, that's kind of been a pleasant surprise for us, you know, and, and uh, you know, is, is uh, to me getting more and more uh, settled and certain and kind of sure of himself. So it's good to see him do some things. Harris had a TD. Looked was pretty nice out there. Yeah, it was good to see. It's good to see. Yeah, it was good. You know, I think, like I said, that, that's a pretty talented group. I mean, they can do a lot of different things and. Different size guys, different kind of bodies, strengths and weaknesses, and the whole deal. But, uh, but you know, a lot of diversity in the group in terms of size and body and strength and quickness and good ball skills and all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, it's kind of a fun group to work with because a lot of different guys can do a lot of stuff. It was nice for Zach to start off with a nice long pass for a touchdown. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think a 97-yard deal is kind of kind of a good start. And thought he did some good things. Thought he thought he looked calm in the pocket and. Um, you know, all the guys are improving. So uh, to me, I think they're all uh, kind of where we want them to be. Obviously, they got to got to do a lot of things better, and we're not anywhere close to where we need to be. But uh, but I like what I'm seeing out of, out of the group. The outside linebackers were pretty good about sideline to sideline play. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kyrie's Jefferson. Kyrie's running around. Jalen's running around. Um, you know, Kyrie, I think is uh, you know up to this point has been really. First couple of practices wasn't as good, and really to lately has really come on. And like I like what I'm seeing out of him. You know, he did a great job uh, getting the interception over on the sideline, ran under an out and cut, and um, you know is uh, you know he's a long, rangy, athletic, physical guy. So he's just got to keep on coming, but he's got a chance to be a special player. I think uh, you know we just got to keep on keep keep his foot on the accelerator and keep grinding. So both he and Jalen were playing inside last year. Are they pretty much slated for outside this year. I think so. I think so. Yeah, it's just kind of a different defense, yeah. you know. And so, in a in a four three, the outside guys are similar to three four guys, you know, inside guys in the three four in some ways. And so it's a, I think it's a natural transition for both of them. I think there's a, a perfect spot for those guys. They're rangy enough and um, you know athletic enough to be able to play outside. Aside from the procedural issues, anything else that immediately jumped out at you as a big concern today? You know, not really. Not really. I think. Uh, you know, there'll be some things after you look at the film that you say, ooh, I didn't see this. or, um, But but I thought it was clean. I mean, I really did for the first time. I didn't, you know, there'll be some holding stuff and here and there. And some guys, especially toward the end, that got a little tired, you know, and got a little lazy in their footwork or or uh, started playing a little bit high. You know, those are all issues that will have to get corrected, I'm sure. But, but, uh, but as I said, overall, I was impressed with, with what I saw. Very good. Okay, thanks, Thank guys. You. Thanks, okay, guys. Okay, appreciate it.